Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. It is finally here. I am so excited. I have been anticipating the launch of this collection for months, ever since I saw a very sneak preview back in the summer. So it's been a long time coming. I'm happy to report that it is worth the wait and I know you guys are so excited as well. So let's jump right in. Without any further ado, let's get into the new Collection Libra 2018 from Chanel for the holidays. I always like to begin by talking a little bit about the inspiration behind the collection. That is for me what makes it so special, so unique. So in case you don't already know, Gabrielle Chanel was a Leo. So the collection Libra is meant to celebrate the lion as not only her astrological symbol, but her personal emblem. The lion held a lot of significance for Chanel. It became the symbol for Chanel fine jewelry. It's also the emblem for the city of Venice, which was incredibly important to her. It was her first trip outside of France. And she was so inspired by the architecture and all of the buildings, all of the artwork. It completely transformed and changed her personal style. So the creators for the collection Libra took all of these little connections to the lion and put them all together to bring us these ultra dazzling, super fierce pieces for the holidays. To begin, we have the Rouge Allure Velvet Lipstick Number no. 5, which comes in the gorgeous limited edition red lacquered packaging, and it also pairs beautifully with the launch of the two new red fragrances for Chanel Number no. 5, the Chanel Number no. 5 Eau de Parfum, and then the Number no. 5 Low, which also are coming out for the holidays. It's the lipstick that I'm wearing today on my lips, which I topped it off with a gloss, but it is a matte finish. This formula does contain jojoba oil and shea butter, so it's a beautiful bold red with a matte finish, but it's not drying whatsoever. I wanted to compare it to the Rouge Allure Number no. 1 red lipstick that I bought last year that also came in the red lacquered packaging. The color is very similar. I mean, I think it would be such a subtle difference. You wouldn't really notice it on the lips per se. However, you can definitely tell that the new number no. 5 is more of a matte finish, whereas the Rouge Allure is a little bit creamier, a little bit shinier. Next up for lips, we have this beautiful lip palette. It is La Palette Character, and it comes, of course, with the beautiful velvet protector. There are five different lipstick shades in here, and it retails for $60, and the lipsticks come in a variety of finishes. There are two new limited edition Le Vernis nail polishes, 917 Opulence and 918 Flamboyance. These both still retail for $28 and both are stunning for the holidays. There are two new limited edition Rouge Coco glosses. This one is liquid bronze and then there's one that's red called Flaming Lips, which I'm sad to say we don't have in stock yet, so I don't have it to show you guys, but I will swatch it on my Instagram stories as soon as it's available because it also looks stunning. But this liquid bronze is so beautiful. In pictures, I was somewhat afraid that it was gonna be too similar to the gold glosses that Chanel already carries, but it's not, it's very different. It goes on beautifully by itself over a nude lipstick. I like to dab it in the center of a red lipstick to give you that plump, pouty look. The only other thing I don't have to show on camera is the cream eyeshadow in Rose La May, but hopefully we will receive that soon. I haven't seen it yet and I'm excited. But something that I do have to show you and probably my favorite or one of my favorite pieces from the collection is the Le Lion de Chanel highlighting illuminating powder, excuse me. So of course the compact comes with the velvet protector, there's a little powder protector, and then a ivory half moon brush, which these are nice to have. I typically use my own powder brush, but 
it's still a nice little detail. And then this is the powder, which looks very similar to the two Chanel exclusives, if you're familiar. There's one that's more of a pearlescent shade, and then one that's a slightly more pink highlighted color. Those came in a red compact. I'm not sure if they're still available, but they also had the line embossed on top. And those were exclusive to Chanel.com for a long time. I'm not sure if they're still there, but I actually prefer this color. It's Stunning. The gold is this beautiful kind of flesh tone, creamy rose gold, if you will. It's very subtle, but then you can build it up on the cheeks. Since I also purchased the Christian Dior Midnight Wish Gold Highlighter for the holidays, I wanted to swatch them side by side to show you the difference. The Chanel highlighter does retail for $70. It has the beautiful line embossed on top. The Dior was only $45, and then it has this pretty star imprint on top as well. So both limited edition, they have a beautiful unique design, and they're both kind of gold. So I was very curious to see how they compared. If you already own one, you certainly don't need the other. The Dior was sort of a surprise for me. I didn't set out or know that I was going to purchase this, but then whenever I swatched it in store, I kind of thought, wow, I have to have it. And the price point at $45, it's not horrible. But I had already budgeted for this highlighter. I knew it was coming. I had been anticipating it and I was really excited about it. So when I saw it in store that it was slightly different tone than the Dior and it, of course with the Lion, it's just beautiful, special, unique, etc. All of the justifications. <laughs> I went ahead and got this one as well because I had already planned to. Last but certainly not least are the four limited edition Ombre Premier Single Eyeshadows. I had originally intended on purchasing all four of them, but then when I swatched them in store, I only ended up with two. So this is what the box looks like. It kind of looks somewhat different. It has the gold on the outside to signify that it's part of a special collection. You get the little, I think these compacts are so cute. They're like little baby compacts, but <laughs> you get the little velvet protector. It has the gold CC. It comes with two brushes, which I think is, I mean, if you use them, great. If not, I still think it's a phenomenal little detail. So you get the little sponge tip applicator and then a little mini brush, which is like baby size. And then the powder itself also has the line embossed on top, which is so beautiful. And this one is the shade Noir Le May. So it is a beautiful black eyeshadow. When I saw this in store, I thought, okay, a black eyeshadow, I bet it's beautiful. No, it is so buttery, it is so smooth, it almost feels creamy, it's so finely milled, which can be a little bit intimidating. Whenever I first watched it, I thought, ooh, I wonder how this is going to be on the eye. You know, it's it goes on really dark, it, I don't know how this is going to go. But it, it's stunning, it's just so beautiful, I knew I had to have this as part of my personal collection. The second eyeshadow that I purchased, I knew I was going to love based on pictures, and it is called Electric La May, and it is this gorgeous kind of ivory gold champagne shade. This is perfect for highlighting the brow bone, inner corner of the eye, all over the lid, you name it. It's just a beautiful eyeshadow that you're going to use. This is the type of shadow that looks good on anybody, everybody. It goes with every single eye look. And it looks a lot more white, kind of pearlescent in the pan, but it almost has little gold reflex. So whenever you put it on top of another eyeshadow or you sort of layer it or even swatch it over an eyeshadow base to make it more vibrant, you see the little gold reflex pop out and it is so stunning. This, I might go back and get a second one because I love it that much. The other two eyeshadows with the collection are 907, which is an antique bronze shade, and then 906 Fair Le May, which is this deep smoky green. I had originally intended on buying all four eyeshadows, as I mentioned, but then when I swatched these in store, I decided against these two in particular, not because they're terrible or they're not pretty shadows. I actually used both of these today to create this look, to play around with them, and I'm still sort of maybe up in the air on whether or not I'll purchase them later, but they just didn't look the way I had thought they were gonna look, and for me, that was a little bit of a disappointment. Again. 
This 907 shade is just a little bit darker than I thought it was going to be. In pictures, I thought it would be more of a warm gold, something a little bit lighter, but it has more of a brown copper look, and I just don't think I would get as much wear out of it. it again, it is still incredibly beautiful, and if you don't already own something like this, it would be great to add to your collection. I have the same problem with the 906 Bare LeMay. It is a very beautiful green, but in photos I thought it would be a lighter, more khaki, vibrant green. And it's just a little bit too deep for me. It does have these gold green flecks in it that are very pretty. And if this is the type of color that you like to wear, I would definitely pick it up. But for me, I just don't think I will use it as much as I probably would if it was a little bit lighter or a little bit more vibrant green. Overall, I completely adore the Collection Libra 2018. They did a beautiful job. It was well worth the wait. My favorite pieces are the ones with the lion embossed on top. They're so special, very unique coming from Chanel. We only see pieces like that around the holidays, so I would say stock up if you love them. Lots of great gift ideas. There truly is something for every woman in this collection. Maybe it's just a nail polish, maybe it's just a lip gloss, but there's something that you can find that you will love. So that completes my review. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave me any of your comments or your questions down below. I want to hear what you guys think about this collection. I will be linking all of the pieces down in the description box for your convenience like I usually do. And for more videos, including a tutorial coming up on this look, don't forget to subscribe.